guys today I'm gonna teach you about the strategy that is based on price action and basically you're gonna try to make trades in the trend so first you have to understand what is a trend and how you can identify a trend so first thing you need to see if you are in the trend what you're gonna look is You're gonna look for a high, a lower high, and then a high that is higher than this previous high. So when you see this, it means that you are in a trend. Then what you're gonna do, you wanna wait for a retracement. The retracement will happen like this. and then if you see a rejection of on this area because this previous resistance area is going to become a support then you're going to enter your trade we're going to talk about the, your target but it's going to be way up here you're going to put your stop loss maybe here or maybe here and your take profit here and you're gonna enter here so now I'm gonna show you in the chart how you can see this and how you can find opportunities and how you can define your stop loss and take profit here is the most famous pair in the world the Euro USD and I'm gonna show you here a simple example this is the one hour chart and as you can see you have a trend here let's put this thicker you have a retracement you have another trend and this trend here confirm that you are in a downtrend because this is your first low A low then you have a lower low that is lower than this one and you have a lower high as you can see here so a lower high lower low and the lower low so where are you gonna enter you're gonna cross a line like this and gonna, you're gonna wait for a rejection in this area sometimes gonna reject here sometimes gonna reject here and you're gonna go for a short so now you are asking where should be my stop loss and where should be my take profit let's see we're gonna add an indicator called ATR I already talked about this indicator we are in tradingview.com and when the price go back here what we're gonna see is what is the ATR value and as you can see in the corner here is 13 so to define your stop loss you're gonna multiply the ATR by 1.5 and you're gonna have 19.5 FIPS and how you can know where is your take profit I'm gonna teach you two ways first way is double the ATR so 13 pips times 2 is 26 we're gonna put our stop uh, 19.6 pips and your take profit to 20 pips 26 pips okay but now I'm gonna show you a trick even better you're gonna take a tool called Fibonacci and what you're gonna do you see this last movement here we're gonna go from the top to the bottom okay from the top the top of the movement you 
can do it like this if you want to the bottom bottom of the move as you can see is here and we can target the 2.0 1.62 or 1.27 depend on uh, your risk as you can see here if you define your stop loss to be 90 pips you can define your take profit to be like at this level and as you can see you have a really nice trade now I'm gonna show you another example this time along guys I'm gonna show you the second entry this time is a um, a long up down up down and now we go up okay I hope you understand this it went up here then down then went up actually went up a lot but we're gonna use the body then went down we can enter here or we can enter here remember this is the one hour chart so we should go to lower charts like 15 minutes and check this area so we can put here it's up to you where you want to enter if you want to enter here is okay remember that you need to wait for the candle to close so actually this this week here or this one it's irrelevant because you're gonna wait for the candle to close to see if there is a rejection on this area and now we're gonna see the ATR is 14 so 14 it's 21 stop loss because 14 times 1.5 and where we're gonna put our even if you went here, here you still gonna be safe but now we want to target uh, our take profit and can be for example 28 pips 14 times 2 or we can use the we can use the Fibonacci and to use the Fibonacci we're gonna go to this and target this low here I'm sorry for the mess okay guys here is the 15 minutes it's much better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this we were looking for the f the 15 minutes as I kind of told as I tell you purposely you can use this one or we can use this one there is a rejection in this area but then if we went here then we need to fix this okay if we use the Fibonacci retracement as you can see maybe we gonna enter just on the second try let's say that we enter on the first one we put 21 pips as I said previously and then we're gonna target let's say we go for the two maybe we would close the trade earlier around this area and if the trade cross the 15% you should always uh, take the trade to break even like this and then you don't have any risk if you feel that is too risky to do go for a 2.0 on the Fibonacci 1.62 is a safe place to go and uh, the risk reward is really good as well so guys don't trust me practice this strategy by yourself and then if you have any question leave me a comment 
If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one.